What's up, y'all? It's Never TV, the Corny Rainbow here. And today I have another sew along for you guys for my new spring Nomi pattern 2026. And today we are doing view A, which is a tank dress. It's very quick and easy. It's beginner friendly. And I absolutely love just throwing on this tank dress. So let's go ahead and get into the fabric and the items that you're going to need to sew along with me. Um, some suggested fabrics on the back of the pattern envelope are stretch knits only, such as interlock, ITY, jersey, rib knit. And you do want to make sure that you check the stretch guide on the back of the pattern. For view A, we don't need any buttons, no zippers, no anything like Let's that. Let's get into the pattern pieces that you're going to need for this sew along. All right, so the pattern pieces that you're gonna need for view A, it's gonna be pattern piece number one, which is your front, and you're going to cut this on the fold. Pattern piece number two, which is your back, and you're also going to cut that on the fold. Pattern piece number three, which is your neck band, and you're going to cut one of fabric. And lastly, pattern piece number four, which is your armhole band, and you're going to cut two of fabric. Make sure that you transfer your markings and your notches, and let's go ahead and get started. We have pattern piece number one here, and I do already have uh, stay stitching, but I do want to add that my base fabric is a little thinner than I would like. So I just added a lining and I did that just by cutting out the same exact pattern piece um, in a lighter weight fabric that is also stretch. And um, it's going to give this dress a little bit more support. If you're using a thicker knit, then you do not have to worry about this step. But for me, this fabric was a little too see-through, so I decided to add another layer and give this pattern a little bit more support for me. So that is an option, but we're going to go ahead and get pattern piece number two, which is our back. And we are going to serge or zigzag stitch at the side seams and at the shoulder seam. So go ahead and pin everything. I am using a serger, so I'm gonna be using my Wonder Clips. If you do not have a serger, again, you can use zigzag stitch or um, straight stitch on a sewing machine. So we're going to head to the serger or sewing machine and stitch down the side seams and the shoulder seam. All right, so we are stitching the side seam and the shoulder seams at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. I am using a four thread overlock stitch. Right now I am stitching down the shoulder seams. All right, so for a bit more stability, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch a straight stitch on my shoulder seams. So if you like, you can go ahead and also stitch a straight stitch at your shoulder seams and then give everything a good press. You're gonna press your seams towards the back of your dress. You're gonna wanna make sure to stay stitch the neck edge of your dress on both the front and back pieces. And then we're going to put this to the side and grab pattern piece number three, which is your neck band. You should have notches on your neck band. 
And on the edges, what we're gonna do is we are going to stitch at 5 eighths of an inch and we're going to stitch a straight stitch and fold our neck band down half of the length. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to come back and attach the neck band to the dress. All right, so your neck band should look like this. I went ahead and pressed the seam allowance out with wrong sides together. We're gonna fold our neck edge down and we're going to pin matching your notches. So go ahead and find those first. All right, so we have the neck band pin, and now we're going to attach it to the neck edge of our dress. When you're pinning the neck band on, you should also have transferred um, dots onto your neck band. That's going to be where your shoulder seam meets. So go ahead and pin there as well. I like to do that first, then move on to the center back. Again, you should have to stretch it just a little bit for everything to match up. So on the back, I like to just fold uh, my back pattern piece in half and um, you can either create a notch or a marking, whatever you like, but that helps me to keep the neck band perfectly in the center of the back of the dress and then go ahead and pin everything else. I'm going to go ahead and stitch half an inch seam allowance around the entire neck edge. Alright, so I'm stitching half an inch around the neck band. You want to make sure to um, pull in the areas necessary for the neck band to fit. You can see we're going over our shoulder seam. So you want to make sure that your shoulder seam is going towards the back and you can see my dot here. We're going to go right over that, making sure everything is lining up nicely. Okay, now we're going over our back and you can see I have the back marked and it's matching up with that middle seam. All right, so once you have sewn your neck band onto your dress, um, there's, you can do two things. You can either serge your raw edge and um, you don't have to worry about trimming everything down, turn everything to the inside and edge stitch right along the dress side of the dress, catching the neck band so that everything lays flat or you can use your serger or cover stitch machine to um, finish off your neck band. 
I'm going to be using my cover stitch machine. Again, if you are not, you are going to go ahead and stitch one fourth of an inch seam allowance, trim everything down or serge your choice, turn it to the inside, give it a good press and then edge stitch right here all the way around your neck band. All right, so do that, come back and we're gonna move on to our armholes, which are the exact same steps. I went ahead and attached my neck band and I did cover stitch the neck band down. So as you can see, you can also achieve this look with a um, twin needle on your sewing machine if you choose to have your neck edge finished like this. Um, and you would still just trim your um, seam allowance down. So we're gonna move on to the armholes which have the same exact method. We're gonna put this to the side, go ahead and make sure that you've stay stitched your armhole and you're gonna grab pattern piece number four. You should have two and we are going to do the same thing and sew five eighths of an inch matching your notches on the edge with right sides together. We're gonna give it a good press and same method, fold it down in half. So do that, come back and we will go ahead and pin to the armhole. And with right sides together, we are going to go ahead and pin right at the side seam first and you're going to pin right where that seam is on your arm band first make sure that the seam on your uh, side seam is going towards the back of your dress you may have to stretch it a little bit again and you can see my blue dot here, my blue marking is matching right at my shoulder seam. So you might just wanna flip it on the inside and make sure that your seam is also facing the proper direction before you pin. Want everything to lay nice and flat. So we are going to stitch this in the same manner that we did our neck band, which is at half of an inch. And then if you're choosing to do this all on your sewing machine, you're gonna stitch half of an inch and then one fourth of an inch and trim down. Give everything a good press and all that you will have remaining is the hem for the dress. So go ahead and do that and come back and we'll finish the dress off. So the last step is to hem the dress and I would go ahead and try on the dress to make sure that everything fits to your liking and we are all done. You have completed view A of my Nomi 2026 pattern. Thanks for sewing along with me. And if you are sewing view B or C, you can follow along in the next tutorial. Until next time, peace.